Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about one of the topics that has come up quite a bit in my previous videos. People were asking about tax in Dubai, how does it work? This video really isn't for people who are looking for an extensive knowledge about tax in Dubai. It's just a quick overview on what you need to know about taxes in Dubai. Just as a disclaimer, I am not a finance financial consultant and I am not a tax expert. This is purely from my own googling and research over the internet and I try to summarize it so that it's easier for you to understand. So if you have little to zero knowledge about taxes in Dubai, then this video is for you. If you are an expat working in Dubai, is it really tax free? To answer that question whether Dubai really is tax free. Free? The answer is yes and no. It pretty much depends on what kind of tax you are asking. And of course, the first tax that comes to mind is personal income tax. And to that question, the answer is no. As of 2023, there are no tax to people's personal income in Dubai or in UAE in general. That being said, the only form of tax that everyone must pay is the 5% VA. AT tax which get charged on the consumer goods and services for example if you are buying groceries electrical appliance furniture and all those stuff most of the time the price tag that is shown wherever you go shopping whether it is on the shelf of the supermarket a lot of the times the price stated there is already inclusive of the VAT tax so whenever you go to the checkout counter you won't have to worry about any surprise expenses in addition to the display price if Dubai is not collecting any tax from the people's personal income so who are the people who's paying for tax then all this while UAE has not imposed taxes on the profit of corporation for example if you have business in Dubai except for a few industries such as resource extraction or foreign banks that are operating in Dubai but from the financial year beginning 1st June of 2023 businesses will need to start paying a corporate tax rate of 9% not all businesses need to pay for the 9% tax rate it is only for the businesses that are making profits meaning revenue minus expenses and all to together if they generate more than 375,000 dirham or 100,000 US dollars only then they will need to pay the 9% corporate tax rate there are also other important notes if you are an owner of a bigger company or a large multinational company you would probably notice for large MNC with profits of more than 750 million million euros they will need to pay 15% tax this is in line with the global minimum corporate rate agreement which is I think that is an international rules and regulation if you really really google stuff about Dubai before coming or even when you are already in Dubai you might have heard of free zones free zone stands for free trade zones in Dubai or sometimes it is abbreviated as FT Disease. These are the special economic zones set up with the tax concession and they also get custom duty benefits. The people who actually benefit from these are the expats investors, meaning they don't have to pay for taxes for the businesses that are within the free zones. As a fun fact, there are more than 30 FTZs in Dubai. For free zone, they have their own sets of rules and regulations. Although they don't have to pay for taxes businesses in free zone still need to register and file their tax return for record purposes at this point of the video I want to talk more about taxes being Malaysian who are moving to Dubai now this is based on my husband's experience I am being sponsored by my husband to live in Dubai and my husband is the sole provider of our household when you first move to Dubai of course your 
your salary will go into the bank account in Dubai so when he transferred the money into his Malaysian bank account of course after a few months the bank will flag it because it comes from a, a source outside of Malaysia usually they will ask for your proof of pay slips so you can just provide that to the representative from the bank saying that you work in Dubai and months after that you won't get flagged anymore the next question is will I be taxed in Malaysia from the income that you get from outside of Malaysia found this from the LHDN website and a lot of other information that I spoke about before this comes from the resources that are online I will link all the resources down in the description box so that if you want to get even more information on that you could go there and look through them back to the text in Malaysia in the LHDN site they mentioned that any source of income derived from outside Malaysian and received in Malaysia is tax exempted meaning if you are in UAE and you are not taxed in UAE when you transfer that money into your bank account in Malaysia you won't be taxed as well the next question would be what about EPF if you are not familiar it stands for employees provident fund if you are working in Malaysia you are probably already familiar with that a percentage of your paycheck gets taken out and put into this mandatory retirement account that you and your employers will contribute to if you are working as an expatriate in UAE you don't have an EPF per se but there is a gratuity policy which basically mean it is end of service benefits for workers in private sector with this policy in place if you are working in the UAE for the span of I say between one to five years you will get 21 days of your basic salary for each year that you are with that company but it will only be paid at the end of your tenure with that particular company for example if you are moving to a different company then only then they will pay you in a case where you are working in a company less than a year you won't get any gratuity payment from that that company at all now for people who are working in a particular company for more than five years they get a 30 days of their basic salary for each year meaning even more than people who stayed between one to five years so that is kind of the benefit of when you stay longer with any companies unlike EPF you could actually do whatever you want with that money is not restricted to only when you are at certain age aside from the gratuity policy some companies in the UAE do provide other benefits to expatriate employees this is only based on my husband's employer when he first moved here he is given a one-time lump sum payment for relocation or settlement type of allowance the amount that he got was a whole month of basic salary and he will only receive this upon the submission of tenancy agreement meaning he will have to get a tenancy agreement of the place that we are currently living in and to prove that it is an unfurnished apartment only then the company will provide that money for the purpose of furnishing the apartment making sure that everything is comfortable and fit for him to live in now I cannot guarantee that for every company but that's just what our experience was now other than that medical insurance is usually a given when you work with any company another extra thing that my husband's employer provide is flight he gets a flight allowance after one year service with the company at this point we are not sure yet how much he will get today technically marks one year of him being in the company so we will only find out about that later but that's just one of a few things that you might want to know about tax in Dubai how it affects you as an expatriate I hope this was helpful for you I tried to simplify and explain this as layman's terms 
YouTube as I can. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of this one, March of 2023. If you would kindly do that, I would appreciate it so much. Thank you for watching and see you guys in my next video. Bye! Is a luxury, also oh, sweet your company.